All right, Matt, so it doesn't matter if your alarm goes off early or if you stay up late. There are some incredible scenes that you'll be able to check out in the sky over the next week. Meteorologist Emily Skydeman gives us a look in watching the skies. For all the early risers out there, this week you have a chance to see something really cool, which is two planets in the moon forming a nearly vertical line. So the moon, Venus, and Mars will be in that nearly vertical line this week. Venus is going to be the planet on the top, Mars will be in the middle, and then the thin waning moon is going to be on the bottom. Make sure you get out February 27 to see that because after the fact, the moon is going to become so thin that it's going to be hard to see. So if you want to see those two planets in the moon, just make sure you get out again February 27 and look in the east. If you're not an early riser, if you're more of a night owl, or even if you can just stay up past dinner time, maybe grab the kids or just get outside, grab a star chart, because we have five constellations that will be rising in the evening this week, and it's always fun to pick out where they are. So those five constellations, Ursa Major in the northeast, Leo the Lion in the east, we have Canis Minor, that's the little dog in the south-southeast, Canis Major, the big dog in the south, and then Hydra the Sea Serpent will be in the southeast. NASA has some star maps that you can print out, some constellation maps, and if you grab those and hope for clear skies, you do have a chance to see those constellations.